Is your son hurt? Not yet. With AIDS, I ate less, so the weight came off. You did stumble upon a gold mine, because these are insane. Okay, what is this? Suvlaki Hut Gorilla. You hungry? You want something to eat? I've got something for you. Here you go. Whoa! What? You want a suvlaki? Well, you'll have to impress me, monkey. Big suvlaki. What the fuck was that? This is like the worst. Well, I want to see his. I want to see him. It's a real place in Australia. Like where? Where? Okay, that's so great. Okay, what's this one? Chocolate is scrunches when it crunches. That's why I love Nestle Crunch. Chocolate is scrunches when it crunches. That's why I love Nestle Crunch. The blend of Nestle's creamy milk chocolate with crunchies tastes just as good as it sounds. Chocolate is scrunches when it crunches. They're not even bugging it. That's why I love Nestle Crunch. <laughs> he wasn't even biting it. Scrunch. He didn't bite shit. Scrunches when it crunches. That's why I love. Oh God. Crunch. Oh that kid. Oh my God. That's oh Jesus Christ. Oh, my God, that was a hard watch. I haven't had a hamburger helper in a long time, and I I want it so bad. Mm. What helped her hamburger taste this good? Hamburger helper. Helped her hamburger. Mm -hmm. Hamburger helper. Hamburger Helper helps her make a great meal, like our cheeseburger macaroni. Just add it to hamburger and make a saucy, savory supper from hearty elbow macaroni and tangy cheddar cheese. Kids gonna love it. Mm -hmm. Dad will too. Mm -hmm. Hamburger Helper, Helper, Hamburger Helper, make a great meal. Yeah, that's the first thing that caught me too, was all the hers. Hamburger Helper, help her make a great meal because Dad can't f***ing cook. Oh shit, that was so quick. I wanted to read it. Oh, I can't do it. Hamburger helper, help her. Help the hamburger feed dad. What is this? Smash baby robot? These days, lots of busy mums are noticing that their favorite mashed potato rattles. This is because it contains the real potato pieces that ensure a mashed potato that tastes absolutely perfect. Mm. That is good. And we think you'll find nothing else will seem quite the same again. Or mash, get smash. What the f*** was that, Ad? Robots and instant mashed potatoes? Leaving that commercial, I didn't retain that it was four mashed potatoes full. You know, like, I just was too focused on the robots and the baby robot having a baby. And then I thought the, the adult robot was going to throw the potato at the baby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is this candy called AIDS? <laughs> what the f*** is this? Okay. I've tried bad diets, powders, pills. Still, my weight's been up and down like a yo-yo until the AIDS plan taught me how to take off weight and help keep it off. AIDS may taste like a candy, but AIDS contains one of the most effective appetite suppressants you can buy, and there's no stimulant in AIDS that could make you nervous. With AIDS, I ate less, so the weight came off. To help keep it off when I sometimes want things loaded with calories, AIDS helps put me in control. The AIDS plan can teach you how to take off weight and help keep it off. Try new peanut butter AIDS. <laughs> Try new peanut butter aids. <laughs> what the fuck was that? How long did that last? Discontinued appetite suppressant candy that enjoyed strong sales in the 70s and early 1980s. The product would be entirely removed by the market by 1988. So they were calling themselves AIDS before AIDS? Want to lose weight? <laughs> Buy some AIDS. I shouldn't be laughing, but it's fucking funny. What's this horrible insurance commercial? Jesus. Hello? Jim, it's Susie. Our house is on fire. Can you come over? Of course. I'm on my way. 
Hello, this is Cal. Cal, this is Mike Case. Hi, what's up, Mike? My boy just wrecked the car. Is your son hurt? Not yet. Whoa. Hello, Jesus. Kurt. This is Leonard. I got a business opportunity I'd like to discuss with you. Why don't you uh, meet me in the office in about a half hour? You, you got, got friends, friends in the insurance business. <laughs> There was so many different crises. Crises? Did any of it get figured out? I guess it's just to show that this insurance company will cover everything. Did she call the insurance people to be like, my house is on fire right now. What can I get for this thing? Is it worth putting it out or should I just let this place burn? I think they could have got their point across with like just one good one, you know? Maybe leave it with like the beating your son one. Is your son hurt? Not yet. And then just cut the camera with like a smack noise. The most confusing commercial ever. Well, well, that's a great follow-up to the last one. That was pretty confusing. We've seen a series of one-car accidents recently involving rollovers and serious injuries to passengers. I don't know if it's video games or what, but it's so unfair to, after something like this, to blame people in the backseat or say they deserved it. I don't like consoling these parents about what's happened but I'll do it until it stops. Will you please stop? I'm Scott Hoy. What? I have to watch that again. But I'll do it until it stops. Will you please stop? I'm Scott Hoy. <laughs> like, what is that? Wait, is that real? Like, that can't be real. We've watched it twice now. And I, the second time, I really listened to everything he said, and I still don't get it. He said, video games, and then we need to stop blaming the people in the back seat, and something about consoling the parents, but he'll keep doing it until it stops. But please stop. What? Is he saying maybe the backseat drivers are playing video games and they're distracting the people in the front, causing too many rollovers that are hurting the people in the back seat? So he'll console the parents, but he doesn't want to. So please stop, but he'll keep doing it if he has to. And and yes, the, why is there a Christmas tree? <laughs> He's really drawing focus and emphasis to his face. He looks quite sad. I'm just not sure w oh, what about. The sweater, the Christmas tree, the lights, the concerned and respectful tone. I'm in, man. I'm with you 100%. No question. I just need to know what in God's name you're talking about. <laughs> If I ever have a backseat violent game case where someone is blaming me because I was sitting in the backseat and my family needs to be consoled, I'm hiring this guy. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad everyone in the comments needs to be on the same page here. This might be my favorite ad, I think. All right, what's this? Norton Furniture. Good news for people that have credit problems. Norton Furniture is here for you. Now, seriously, if you can't get credit in my store, you can't get credit anywhere. My name is Mark, and you can count on it. Hey, gang! Whoa! Who threw a football and racket? My dude! I saw him get that booty down there! 16, 16, 16, Somehow that made more sense than the insurance commercial, I or than the lawyer commercial. See, I don't even know what it is. Marty McDermott for the Martin Fine Furniture Store. We own this furniture business in Indiana, and our prices are out of this world. 50% off everything, every day. A free chair with every sofa purchase. Free deliveries, free setups, and six months free financing. Mr. Martin, did all these Martians buy our furniture? Yeah, and I hope they don't expect free delivery all the way to Mars. You got that right. What? What? <laughs> Astronauts famously hate fish. Right up your alley, bud, killing women left and right. <laughs> that was an ad. The tomatoes and onions. If you've got problems with bugs. Hey, what happened to our sandwich? What are we going to do? We better call Area White Exterminators. Something's bugging you? Call Area Wide Exterminators. I've got you. What's for dinner? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. They were really small. I don't even know what the product was. 
If you want to exterminate the little people on your house stealing all of your kitchen utensils, call the slightly bigger people, and they will exterminate the very small people. Breakfast! I'm hungry! Take it from Carinkles, that's me. The best breakfast under the big top is post sugar rice Carinkles. A circus of fun to eat, so you crinkle on down to the store for post sugar rice Carinkles, the greatest cereal treat on earth. Who thought that was a good idea? I'm not even scared of clowns, and I am mortified. I can't believe they let that one fly. Here's Milky, the marvelous milking cow. It's fun to milk her, gonna do it right now. She drinks the water when we pump her tail. She's raising her head, it's milking time now. Her free tin milk is a feeling the pale. She drinks water, and gets pretend milk. Milky, the marvelous milking cow. Milky, the marvelous milking cow with pretend milk tablets. She's new from Kenner. So she was I know the milk I get the milking part Sure um, The pinching of the nipples And you know Like I get that But what was she doing With the tail was she pumping it up And then the cow Drinks water Just because I kind of want one So is this Kurt Angle Wow Kurt Angle Keep the change Thanks Whoa What's gotten into this pizza Hey Come on they square off. Tomato drop kicks. Pepper scoops him into an airplane spin. Big slap. Fresh pepper. Pizza outlet. The taste that screams fresh. Oh man, that was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. If Kurt Angle did a pizza commercial. I'm assuming that's post broken freaking neck because they were doing a lot of pro wrestling references. This is the new baby in our family, a baby doll, a famous doll, Archie Bunker's grandson, Joey Stivick. So, of course, he's special. Your child can give him a drink from his bottle, then he wets. And when his diaper is changed, it's clear that Joey Stivick is a physically correct boy doll. My husband and I think that's terrific. And he's such a soft and cuddly doll. Archie Bunker's grandson, Joey Stivick, by ideal, is a physically correct boy doll. What a great idea. That f***ing, though, that sweet, soft plastic. He feels so real, that physically correct male doll. 